Cable Company. Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. Currently, the temperature is 27 degrees with light rain. forecast for your area. The winter blitz is on in the northeastern part of the United States, but you aren't the only ones that are seeing the chance of snow. There's also some snow in the higher elevations of the west. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Weather Center here on the Weather Channel. I'm Melissa Tuttle. And I'm Mike Bono. Yes, Melissa, really getting clobbered in the northeast right now with another snowstorm, the first really good shot in the major metro areas since December 30th. That's amazing. And it's going to be a rough go of it during the day on Sunday. Luckily, you don't have a major football game to watch. Uh, the Super Bowl is until next year. You'll be shoveling snow, I think, around New York and Hartford. Let's take a look right now at some of the travel trouble areas. So you kind of get your fix of heavy snow and shoveling and build up your biceps and go skiing and everything this weekend. And then you can get into the couch potato uh, routine for Super Bowl Sunday the following weekend. Hopefully you won't be shoveling snow then. But I-95 south of about Bangor to Portsmouth, New Hampshire, the Boston Metro, all the way down through Hartford, New York City, you name it, right down the Jersey Turnpike, getting clobbered with snow during the morning Sunday already mounting up as of very early morning. Interstate 84, the New York Thruway, Interstate 80, from the George Washington Bridge through much of Pennsylvania under the gun with a lot of heavy snow coming down. Even the Washington area, after Inauguration Day, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of sniffling and sneezing for folks that were out at the Inauguration Parade with mid to upper 30s in rain, but a mantle of white in the nation's capital during the morning on Sunday. We could see some high clouds moving out to sea. This, the last gasp of what brought thunderstorms and even a couple of tornadoes to the southeast Friday. Tropical air, not purely tropical air, not really a part of this scenario. But low pressure aloft spinning through the Susquehanna Valley and on toward the northern Chesapeake Bay. You could see the expansion of high clouds. They're fanning out at low levels. The air is coming in, swirling and rising up. And that is your formula for a snowstorm. Every place where you see these high clouds just fanning out and thickening and whitening, the snow is increasing. Hudson Valley, Mohawk Valley, Southern Tier, Catskills, New Jersey. Some heavy snow reported at Wrightstown, moving into Newark. The five boroughs of New York City, snow getting heavier and mounting up. You will be shoveling in the a.m. by sunrise, that's for sure. A little bit of a slow start in eastern Long Island, and even some rain and freezing rain mixed in, including the Rhode Island coast and Cape Cod but that changeover to snow will be complete. Now we had thunder, we had lightning from Morgantown, West Virginia, through Williamsport, PA, Allentown, Harrisburg, and some heavy snow reported at Doylestown. So don't be surprised if the light 
flashes in the sky. And that may be the subway train in the Bronx, but it also might be lightning and thunder moving through the five boroughs of New York City. A lot going on in the middle Atlantic states, a blast of cold air around this upper low, the changeover to snow happening rapidly in Washington and the Chesapeake Bay, and sweeping on up the coastline, such that we will have 6 to 12 inches of snow in eastern Pennsylvania, central northern New Jersey, the Catskills, Hudson Valley, lower Hudson Valley, into just about all of Connecticut, Rhode Island, and last to come in on this will be Cape Cod, as you will be getting rain in a mixture, but it should turn to snow at the end, Boston getting several inches, toning down to 3 to 1 inch by the time you get to southern Maine. This white area is three to six back to Washington and some accumulating snows all the way to the southern Appalachians. Now Sunday morning, it's still wound up our low pressure system and the coast will be getting hit hard with snow. Working into Maine by that time, by midday ending all except say Cape Cod, maybe Boston and the coast of Maine, but even that will end by later on in the day as we can see with the ending turning into a windy, chilly day on the coast, snow shoveling, plowing, and uh, less of a problem, but cold to the north and into the lakes. Now, Melissa, with the rest of the nation. And the rest of the nation has some problems of its own, at least in a couple of the areas. One is here in the south central states. You've got a little upper level disturbance, although we don't think anymore that this is going to be causing too much of a problem. Maybe a little bit of light wintry precipitation around the Dallas area, but probably not too big of a deal. We're thinking actually it's not going to make too much of a weather difference for Sunday. But the storm we really want to take a look at is one here in the west. It is starting to push in here, moving rather slowly as it is kind of coming into a high pressure area. So it's got some ridginess that it has to kind of overcome to move on into the coast. But it is making its way in and already causing some rainy conditions and snow in some of the higher elevations in the Cascades of Washington and Oregon. So as this low pushes in, Sunday morning, this is how it's going to look. By midday, a little bit further east, but once again, not moving too quickly. So it is going to be taking its time making its way in, but nonetheless, will already dampen your plans for your Sunday in Seattle and Portland and then even down on into San Francisco. So any of you folks in these areas, if you're headed out tomorrow morning for brunch or for church, you'll definitely want to grab an umbrella in the northern parts, southern parts, San Francisco probably won't be seeing it until later on in the day. So you folks will want to get out earlier in the day and get your outdoor activities out of the way then. So by the time the rain gets in, you're already back inside. So rest of the West actually looking pretty nice. And some of these temperatures are really above average for this time of year, which is nice as well. So another a look at our other little storm system here, a little upper level low. You can see a little bit of that counterclockwise circulation, but we don't expect that this is going to really be causing any weather problems. Maybe a little bit in the morning, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. 50 and mostly cloudy in Dallas for your Sunday. So a quick look at temperatures. Your actual highs for Saturday, not too bad. A little chilly in parts of the northern tier of states, but actually out in Montana, that's above normal. So that is good news for you there. So taking a look at your Sunday lows across the United States, pretty cool for your overnight. And looking on to the highs for your Sunday, looking kind of chilly in the southeast, especially um, in some of the southern areas of Georgia and down on into Florida. Those are pretty cool temperatures for this time of year, only 60s in Miami. Well, after a quiet couple of winters in the Northeast Corridor, another major snowstorm, second of the winter so far. Exactly, and if you're doing any traveling in those areas, you will need to watch out. Stay tuned for Travel Wise coming up next. If the